Hey, this is David the Shepherd School, and we're looking at an eBay shelter radiation detection kit. Old civil defense uh, kit. It's got a couple different types of meters in them. It's got some uh, dosimetry chargers, some dosimetry. It's got a set of headphones for the meter. When I opened it up, when I opened one of them up, somebody left the batteries in there. See how corroded they are. And uh, this one doesn't actually work. This one, the circuit checks out fine, but it's not really picking anything up. It's, it's, okay. Yeah, let me show you. Circuit's checking out, checking out fine, but it's, it's overly sensitive. It's picking up too much stuff which there really isn't anything in this room that should be going off the charts like that. But anyway, what my point is, you can get all sorts of radiation meters. There's a guy in the prepper community that I really respect, but nobody knows everything. Lord have mercy, I know I don't. But uh, he was bragging about his, his new meter that he got that picks up, you know, millisieverts. And, which, is, which is basically what meters is to feet, right? It's the international unit. Um, a sievert is, but uh, it, it's it picks up. It's so sensitive that it picks up more than what you get from just standing next to a rock. It, it it picks up way below background. It's so sensitive that basically you turn it on and it's inundated by, you know, life by the sun by by uh, you know cosmic radiation by natural radiation coming from rocks from the sheetrock in the wall of the banana that you ate this morning. And it's really just too sensitive, and, and he really couldn't tell me why he got it, other than, you know, it was it was the most sensitive one you could get, right? So um, buying the wrong kind of equipment really doesn't do you any good, right? If you get a high range meter um, that's used to to you know check out contamination around a reactor, a nuclear weapon, or some sort something like that, you know, it's so high that it's not sensitive enough to pick up what you're going to get if you are contaminated by you know some sort of disposition something falling out of the sky or, or radioactive uh, contamination right so you need to know what you want and you need to know what equipment is to uh, you need to use it and I'm not against these old civil defense meters when you get one that's calibrated right that somebody has checked to make sure that what it's reading is actually what it's picking up they're they're bulletproof they're strong they, they last forever right as long as they're taken care of and somebody doesn't corrode out the insides, right? And uh, I'll put a link to some places you can go to uh, to buy good meters. And, and I don't get anything out of that, you know. Um, nobody pays me for any of this. But um, there's a guy, I think he's out of Texas, who bought a whole bunch of this stuff from military surplus or from, you know, FEMA uh, surplus. And he's got the actual test stands and calibration items and tools and manuals to repair these meters and he sells them and when he sells them he sells them to you as is or he can sell them to you fixed and, and calibrated and guaranteed and he's got a service where every year or every two years you can send a meter in and he'll check it to make sure that it's actually functioning correctly which if you're going to go through the trouble of getting a radiation meter and that's up to you you know, I don't either recommend it nor nor not recommend it. If you think you need one, then uh, make sure you get one that, that you know works and that is calibrated, okay? And with that being said, we're going to do a couple videos with some meters that I know work, and I'll show you some tips about using them, okay? So uh, you can always check us out online. I'll have better links and, and, and more information on the website um, at www.tngun.com.